Hey guys, how's it going? I almost said, Kelly Alexa here. I was shooting another video <laughs> where I had to introduce myself, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm still in that mode of shooting videos for other people. Um, in fact, let me just allude to what I was talking about on some of those videos, because you guys have heard me talk about this before and what a game changer it's been. Oh, that's something else. Um, but I was talking about these Eat Smart uh, food scales. I have had an Eat Smart food scale. I think I bought it on Amazon like five or six years ago, maybe three or four. Um, and then I reconnected with them. I think they sent me the scale that I have in my bathroom. But this is the food scale they sent me. Here's a picture of what it looks like. You can get it at Eat Smart Scales, uh, their uh, website, and follow them on Twitter. But um, this is so awesome because it's one of the few scales, I know I did another video on this, um, that measures in grams, ounces, and pounds, which is really awesome. And for me, especially when I do things like, um, well, of course, measuring things like cereal, of course, measuring things like um, hummus, protein powder, um, things that I tend to like to want to eat the whole bottle of it. Um, when you use a scale like this, it's going to, um, sorry, it's so nice. We actually have, I don't know if you can tell, we actually have the um, windows open and the sun is out. It's like the first time in forever. Must be because it's my birthday tomorrow. Um, but it makes such a difference when you measure stuff. One of my favorite lunches uh, that I'm having, which I'll probably make for my next meal, which is past lunch, but whatever, um, is I get this Tyson chicken um, that I get and I put it, it's frozen. Um, so it's called shredded Tyson chicken. I have it up on my Instagram account. You should be following me, following me there. Um, but I put that in the microwave. I measure it out, of course. I measure out my chicken on here. Um, then I measure out 85 grams of broccoli and I measure 50 grams of sweet potatoes. And I put all three of those in a pan, put some garlic, salt, and pepper on it, um, toss it about, get it really hot, and then I measure out a serving of hummus and put it on the top. It's kind of the evolution of this stuff I order when I'm in New York from this great restaurant called um, Nature Works. And if you're in New York, they can deliver to you. Um, but it's these guys that make just a whole bunch of like really healthy food and it's deliverable. Why can't they live here in Chicago? Um, but they made these protein bowls. They have protein bowls, protein cookies. Um, and the protein bowl that I ordered was, and then I started to get it without rice. It was rice on the bottom, steamed jasmine rice. Um, and then it was topped with vegetables. They did like broccoli, carrots, let me see, broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. But then when I would order, I asked for just broccoli because I don't like carrots in when they're cooked. And um, then, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I told you the windows are open. So rice, um, carrots, or excuse me, rice, broccoli. And then on top of that, they had just chunks of great chicken. And it takes a lot for me to go, great chicken. Because, you know, if, if somebody sets out a grilled chicken breast for you, if you've been watching what you've been eating for a while, you're like, great grilled chicken breast. But I don't know if they put teriyaki sauce or whatever in it, but it was really delicious. And then they topped it with their own homemade hummus. And I just was so addicted to this dish that I came home and recreated it. First I recreated it with some Trader Joe's chicken, but now I like this Tyson frozen shredded chicken. I just like the flavor of it um, a little bit better. And I don't, the Trader Joe's um, option that they had, you know, it's just refrigerated and I kind of feel like it's almost like deli meat, where if you don't use it in a few days, you open it up and you're like, is this okay? You know that feeling. Um, so it's just a really good dish, but back to the weighing your food thing. You guys, if you eyeball it, let me just tell you, I know this about myself. I eat healthy food and I like healthy food. Um, I'm not as much about, you know, binging or cheating and, and eating, you know, really bad stuff or wanting to a lot, except around that time of the month, which is going to be gone pretty soon. We'll talk about that later. Um, but no, I'm not in menopause. Somebody will ask me that. I'm having a, a procedure, um, which I will address because I'm sharing with you guys everything I'm having done for this whole hormonal balance stuff that we're dealing with. But um, with healthy food, there's things like 
tell me if you've been in the same mindset as me. You know, you can make broccoli go, oh, it's just broccoli, it's just vegetables. I read in one book, you can have all the vegetables you want. Well, I, let me tell you something. Number one, you shouldn't because you'll probably be bloated. Um, but number two, it's not good to have a mindset of, oh, this is awesome, I can eat all I want of this. Why would you want to eat as much as possible of something? Like, I don't get that. That should not be your goal. Um, but it's very easy to think, oh, well, this says I should put in, you know, a quarter of a cup of this. So you eyeball it and you throw it in and you're thinking it's broccoli, it's sweet potatoes, it's no big deal. Well, guess what? Especially now that I know about myself um, with all of my hormonal imbalance, as if I had to point out to you, it's all inside of my body here. Um, I know that I'm insulin resistant. I know that I have high blood sugar. I know that I am hypothyroid. So for me, even more so now until I get balanced, I have to really pay attention to carbs. I have to really pay attention to anything that has, and forgive me if I'm not saying this right, you know, natural sugar in it or whatever. I can't go overboard and eat 20 apples a day. A, it's a lot of carbs, so it's not good for my diet plan either, but B, it has a lot of natural sugar in it. People don't think that that can affect you. Uh, yes, it can, it can raise your I don't want to start talking about scientific stuff because then someone's going to watch my video and go, well, she, who does she think she is? She said the wrong thing in the wrong order. I'm sure I did. I'm not a doctor or a trainer or an expert in anything other than talking too long on videos. So when you have a scale, you realize very quickly how we can even overeat um, if our goal is weight loss. Um, or getting lean or, or, or whatever your goals are, but for so many of us, we're looking to lose weight, lean out, build muscle, and you guys, you have to pay attention to what you eat. We all know that. It's so easy to go overboard without really realizing it or certainly intending it. When I put my sweet potatoes on here, so that meal that I told you that I am obsessed with, that I love and it fills me up so much, I know exactly that I have to have 112 grams of the chicken, um, I weigh that out. I do 85 grams of broccoli and 50 grams of sweet potatoes because that's 20 grams of carbs. Um, and I use broccoli instead of Brussels sprouts because um, Brussels sprouts, you, it's even less Brussels sprouts, a lot higher carbs. Um, but you'd be amazed how, you know, measuring, measuring out, especially the sweet potatoes. I put my sweet potatoes, I slice them and that's how I cook them. So I put my slices, they're pre-cooked on here and I'm like, so that'll, okay, you know, and I'm sad because I love sweet potatoes and I want to, you know, we're trained in restaurants to look at something that's a big, huge serving and we want that big, huge serving and we want to be like, oh my God, this is awesome. So to see the little serving, you're almost always going to feel like, oh, you know, I've been let down, but don't, don't feel that way because let me tell you, whenever I make that dish and I cook it all up and I put it in a bowl, it is more than enough. I'm very full. I'm satisfied. But again... I'm going to tell you that based on even just the sweet, sweet potato part, just weighing the sweet potatoes, I got to cut it almost at 10 minutes. Just weighing the sweet potatoes has taught me that probably if I wasn't weighing them here, I would probably put more than double that serving. Um, and so I'd be having a lot more carbs than I thought I was having. And again, the way I used to do it is I'd look up the nutritional information, you know, whether it was my fitness pal or online, and it would say, oh, you know, a fourth of a cup of a sweet potato is this. And I'd be like, a fourth of a cup is about this much. I think I, yeah, I probably had that. You have no idea. You have no idea, really no idea, excuse me. So a food scale is such, it's just such a great addition. It has helped me. And I said this in my other video, you'll see this on fitfluential.com. We're featuring it there with a prize. Um, you, the number one comment that I get from people about, you know, weighing food or if they see the scale or whatever, they're like, hell no, I'm not going to weigh my food. That, that's too complicated. There's no way I'd ever do that. You guys, it takes me about like three seconds um, per thing. You put something on here, you look at it, you adjust it. I mean, in, in the course of maybe a whole meal like what I just told you I made, I'm going to guess that I probably add a minute to a minute and 20 seconds, if that. Maybe I'll time it one day. It's not that big of a deal, especially considering the benefits. It matters. Um, and especially if you hit a plateau and you're having issues and going, I don't understand, I'm really eating right, I know I'm eating the right stuff, I'm working out, but I've hit a wall. Sometimes it's differences like that that can make a huge difference. So, um, 
Did that sentence even make sense? Probably not. I haven't had a lot of caffeine today, but I have to go. This is my vlog for today. I'll be back tomorrow. Maybe, because it's my birthday, my 46th birthday. And maybe I'm gonna get myself a, um, just a whole box of plastic surgery, like a facelift it, or, you know, somebody that can just stand behind me like this. <laughs> just kidding, I'm not really kidding. But anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow, bye.